my students. This revision class we are going to be revise the same chapter how do organism reproduce. Already we have discussed about the asexual method of reproduction. In that fission and fragmentation we are completed in one class and regeneration we are completed in another one class. This class we are going to be see that budding alone because uh, this chapter is important chapter is mentioned by the revision paper which is released by the board people. There is more possibilities for 3 marks as well as 5 mark question from this chapter. So we have to read all the questions thorough. Today we are going to be see that only budding. What is the meaning of budding mean? Budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which single parent from the body wall it produce one bud. The bud is mature, grow and mature and then it is detached from the parent body then grow as a new individual. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction that is you must mention compulsory. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which the organism mm -hmm. produce bud and the bud grow and mature it will produce a new individual. Here two types of organisms are reproduced by budding. The best example is yeast, second example is hydra. Budding in yeast we have to see mean, we have to draw the parent yeast. The yeast is a unicellular organism. It is reproduced by asexual mother only. First you see, uh, you have to draw the diagram of one parent body. From that one small outgrowth is produced. That is called as bud. First step is in budding it is bud formation. Then only the nuclear division will be happen. Then only the parent containing the nucleus is going to be divided into two. And one smaller portion of the nucleus move inward the move inside the newly formed bud. Then you see it is followed by the cytokinesis. Here the cytoplasm also become constrict and it produce the new cell, new bud. As like from that newly arranged bud can also be able to produce one another one new bud. So chains of bud is produced by every end of the maturation of one new bud. So, chains of bud also produced in the yeast. So, only it is selected as a best example for budding. Then, budding in hydra. Hydra is coming under the phylum coelenterates. You see, this is a diagram of hydra. From the body wall, this is the body wall. This is tentacles. In the center, we see the mouth. It is mouth. Around the mouth, the tentacle is present. It is the body wall. From this body wall, one small bud, one small outgrowth is produced. Here, the bud is start grow, 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 and it is mature in size. Mean if the mouth around surrounded by the tentacles, then the new individual become mature. When it is mature, mean it is detached from the parent body and grow as a new individual hydra. You see these two example only bud is produced from the parent body. So only this method of asexual reproduction is always called as budding. Budding means fragmentation means you have to write the sentence the individual, the parent body is divides into many fragments. In budding means you have to write the parent body produce many bud like structure. In spore formation you have to write the parent produce spores. So which kind of asexual reproduction you are going to be write as an answer means what is the special form of asexual reproductive process taking in that organism you have to mention compulsory. It is a type of asexual reproduction. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction. Spore formation is a type of asexual reproduction. Regeneration is a type of asexual reproduction that is you have to mention compulsory. And what is the mode of reproduction you have to mention. The parent body divides into many fragments. The parent body it produces many bud like structure. The parent body is produced spores inside that. The parent body is going to be disappearance of pseudopodia, the nuclear, the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis followed by the division of two daughter cells. That kind of uh, mode of method you have to explain the secondary. 
So today we are going to be read this type of budding reproduction. How it is seen in yeast and how it is seen in hydra. You have to draw and label the diagram. Then you explain the comment. Thank you.